Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add Wix chat to your Wix website. If you don't know what Wix chat is, it basically allows your users to quickly message you and learn more about your business. And it's an easy way for you to communicate back to your users. That way, if they have a question about one of your products or services, you can quickly get back to them and hopefully close a sale or book a meeting with them. But let me go ahead and show you how to set that up. The first thing you want to do is come over to the add button. You want to come down to contact and forms, come down to Wix chat, and you can either add one of these options to your website. For this one, I'm just going to pull out this little icon. And even though it added a full button, not just the icon, we can easily change that by going into the settings. Now, if we look into the settings, we can tell it what to display. We can also set it to the bottom right or bottom left, but personally, bottom right is better because that's where most people expect it to be. You can also set some of the settings for a new message. It'll automatically open the chat. And for chat visibility, you can set it to be visible on all pages or just specific pages. Then we can come over to the design. We can actually change the icon to your logo or a specific icon. We can also change the way the minimum chat looks or the minimized chat looks. We can change it to a little button like this to change it to something that looks like this. We can change it to a hovering button like this, or we can just change it to a simple icon. We can also change the color, of course, and we can change the icon here as well, which here is where you would select your logo if you uploaded it right here. Next, what you can do is come over to text and you can change the business or website name. You can change the message right here and you can also enable a typical response time, but you can disable that if you would like as well. But I think it's really good to have. And if you're offline, you can also have an offline message right here. Now, if you want your users to submit a form that would potentially turn into a lead, what you can do is actually turn this little chat box into a chat form. In order to do that, we can go over to manage pre-chat form. It's gonna open up some settings in the dashboard and here we can actually create a pre-chat form. Now, what you would want to have is their name, a message, and obviously email is checked automatically, but you can also enable phone number if you would like. If you are offline, you can set up some offline information and you can set some online information as well. So when do visitors see the form? after they send the message or once they open chat and we can make this form mandatory, okay? But now that that's done, we can go ahead and close out of it. We can also come down to notifications and make sure that the correct email is getting the chat. We can also manage the chat from our inbox notifications, which is going to be in the site dashboard. Or if you have the Wix owner app, you can also reply to people right from your app. The next thing we have down below notifications is automations. So we can greet new visitors with a new chat message, or we can reply to people with predetermined messages. However, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this because they might request something and your automatic chat might think it's saying something else and send something completely incorrect and make you seem a little less professional. The last thing that I really wanna cover is your chat settings, which if you go to your settings and go to inbox settings, you're gonna see a tab for chat. Now, some of the settings here are only for if you have a upgraded Ascend plan, but the cool thing is, is you can actually enable chat hours. So that way the chat is only available if you are available to actually chat back. So you can actually set times and days for when you want the chat to be active on your website. Below that is the pre-chat form. Below that is the FAQ buttons. Now this is actually pretty cool because if your users have a very generic question or a lot of your users are asking the same question, then you can actually actually set an automatic FAQ area right inside of your chat and they can select which option is best for them. Below that is sender identity. Now by default, it's typically set to no sender identity, but if you have specific team members that are in charge of replying to people, you can set team profiles, or if it's just you, you can set a business one right here. Most websites have team profiles and they kind of cycle through, even if it's just one or two people, it just seems more professional to have team profiles. If you would like to create team profiles, what you can do is come to profile and team and just create a couple profiles. And the last thing I wanna show you is how to actually message people back from the dashboard of your website. 
So if you don't want to reply to people through email or the app, what you can do is come over to communications and go to inbox. Now the cool thing is, if someone submits a message through the little chat app, they are gonna show up here in one of your conversations. And you'll also see a little message board similar to this right here, where you can actually reply back to them. And when you reply to them through this right here, it will actually appear in their little chat app, or if you're offline, it will send them an email. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.